Welcome back to 864 Auburn Street in Bridgewater, Mass. Uh, last time we were here, we actually had a number of structural issues that we had to address. We've since been able to do so, and now we're getting to the point where we're really doing a lot of cosmetics. So as you can see outside, we have fully resided this property. Um, there are still a few things that need to be done. We're currently working on the steps over here where we're resurfacing all of the steps with new brick and putting in a new rail system in there as well uh, to give it a nice finished look. Um, obviously, we've put in all new windows. We did not have to change out the roof at all, but one thing that you will notice is we do have to do some cleaning on the roof. We have some moss growing on the far right side over here, so we still have to get the cleaning company in here to do that. Um, we also need to paint the foundation here, which we're going through the process of selecting a color away from this forest green that happens to be in place. We've begun the cleanup of the landscaping as well as done some of the basic mulching. This time of year, we're not gonna be putting in any plantings or flowers or anything along those lines, obviously, as it's a little too cold for such a thing because it's not gonna live through there. So we're going through that process uh, right now of dealing with a lot of that stuff. Uh, last time we were here, we had a ton of rot. We had rot over in the sill on the front of this uh, bedroom here to the left of the front door. And we also had a, a very substantial amount of rot on the garage side of the wall over here. So since we've been here, we've installed stairs to our dumpster. Oh. <laughs> um, but we have replaced this wall fully, as well as the header over the garage and the, a part of the foundation down here. So this has all been rebuilt inside and uh, you know resurfaced uh, with siding. One issue that we did run into that we were completely unaware of when we went to have the garage door installed, the garage floor was actually about four inches off from one side to the other. So when they came to install that garage door, it would hit on one side and it would be about four inches off the ground on the other side. So we actually had an issue with that. So we actually had to jackhammer out a large portion of this concrete base and then now we have to pour fresh in order so that this can sit all level and easily. Um, this is something, some of the things that we run into in these properties that you don't see, that the human eye, the naked eye does not necessarily see those types of issues right out of the gate. When they come in to put these things on, they put levels on it, you really start to notice it then. So you really have to make sure that you put in a good buffer within each project because it's unknown, some of these things that you don't notice that you've never run into in the past that you may uh, in a particular project. And you know, a major, you know, small problem if you keep your numbers too tight could really affect whether it's a successful project or not. So we were able to, to build in that buffer to make sure that we were okay. Here we are in the kitchen. Uh, last time we were here at this particular property, you, you may have remembered that we just had the floor joists exposed and I almost fell through a couple of times when we were filming that video, but uh, we've since put down the subfloor. We had already uh, subsequently taken care of uh, the electrical and the plumbing below as well. One thing that really adds value to any home is adding livable square footage. This home being a one level ranch for the most part has about a thousand square feet of unfinished space downstairs. So what we decided to do was actually stud out that space, put electric heating, so on and so forth downstairs so that we added another thousand livable square feet to this particular home, which adds a substantial amount of more value to the house itself. One issue that we did happen to have was the access to that livable space. The stairs that were in place uh, had a major problem to do with headroom as you got towards the bottom, uh, where somebody that's any taller than say six feet or so would probably smash their head on that header as they went down the stairs. So we put in new stringers, uh, uh, treads and risers and, and are currently finishing off that space so that we're two code and we actually have a, a, a legal living space uh, downstairs as well that, that's going to work well. We did have two bathrooms in this particular space. Uh, we had a bathroom that was basically sitting from this wall over that was accessible from the kitchen which was all of maybe 10 square feet maybe um, and we have since decided to remove that and bring the washer dryer up from the basin and locate it within here. So we'll actually have washer dryer set up with a bifold uh, in, involved as well. So now that uh, the people will not be required to actually go downstairs to do their laundry, they can actually stay uh, right in their primary living space. So as you can see within here, we're just in the process of getting all of our plumbing in place, getting our uh, electrical and plumbing sign offs taken care of, um, at which point we're, we've maintained uh, the uh, kind of the historical integrity of this particular bathroom by keeping the old cast iron tub there's actually a glazing process for this so this thing will actually come back to brand new and we'll actually put in a, a tiled backsplash in here which is going to give it a really beautiful finish right, the master bedroom at this point last time we were here we were discussing not only the chimney but the structural components of this space this room 
for some reason was not structurally put together properly. The issue was they had about a 20 foot span where they were just uh, sistering together uh, ceiling joists, which created a major sag in the, in the ceiling itself and also put a lot of undue pressure on the exterior walls, which was causing buckling, etc. So we have come through and put in a brand new LVL beam and hung joist hanger. So now we have proper span from one side to the other and are carrying this weight uh, properly so that we're not having structural issues not gonna have issues with you know snow bringing the house down or anything along those lines. So now we actually have a square room versus the uh, bowed out hanging and sagging ceiling that we had previously. Um, additionally, we were since able to test our jacuzzi tub as well as some of the plumbing in here. The jacuzzi didn't work, the operators didn't work, all of the componentry was broken and bad. So we actually gutted this bathroom since then and have put in a new tub putting in all new toilets and sinks as well, and we're gonna be tiling very similar to this to what we did in the other uh, bathroom itself. So we're actually in uh, very good shape here. We're, the project's moving along. We, we're, we're starting to get all of our sign-offs for plumbing and electrical, et cetera. The weather's getting colder, so we're gonna wanna get some heat in here so that once we do get this place sheetrocked and, and, and plastered, we'll actually be able to dive right into the painting and be able to, to finish this project up in as timely manner as possible.